One of them is a well-known activist in Southern California, and we know that he has helped many people down on their luck. But tonight, that activist sits in jail on suspicion of multiple felonies. For years, Eden Alex Enamorado has been a fierce defender of street vendors who are attacked or racially discriminated against. Abolish! Abolish! But now, Enamorado and seven others are accused of breaking the law during organized protests. They use racism to threaten and intimidate their victims, causing them to get on their knees to beg for forgiveness while still assaulting them. The 36-year-old activist and seven of his alleged accomplices were arrested early Thursday morning. The group is facing several felonies, including assault with a deadly weapon, false imprisonment, conspiracy, and criminal threats. Uh, that in order to be in America, that you have to speak English? This investigation began in late September uh, when we investigated a brutal assault that occurred at a protest in the city of Victorville. The investigation quickly became a multi-agency investigation when we discovered our group of suspects were responsible for violent acts during other protests in both San Bernardino and Los Angeles counties. We contacted Enamorado's attorney, Christian Contreras. He issued a statement that says in part, the arrests of the Victorville Eight, including Eden Alex Enamorado, were clearly done in retaliation for activists exercising their First Amendment rights. Criticizing elected officials and law enforcement officers should never be criminalized. And that is what the Sheriff's Department has done in this case. I will be in court Monday to fight these baseless charges vigorously. What this group does is not protected by the First Amendment. The San Bernardino Sheriff says helping street vendors and victims of attack isn't the real motive for enamorado and the seven others. This group manipulates videos and photos on social media in an attempt to make them look like they're protectors of underrepresented people. This group is not about substance for the human condition, but rather clickbait for cash. And this is the result of a multi-agency investigation that lasted several months. All eight people remain in jail tonight without bail, and their court has been scheduled, their court hearing has been scheduled for Monday.